Hello everyone, thanks for stopping back and joining us on our YouTube channel. So I've logged in 10 hours of seat time on our brand new Branson tractor and I just wanted to drop a quick video and give a little update of how things are going with it so far and uh, so far so good. Uh, it's a little workhorse I tell you. Uh, my favorite implement so far is the grapple. I've used that thing to death already it seems like. Um, but I just wanted to go over uh, some of the implements I bought with the tractor and why I, uh, why we bought them. And uh, and I've had a little slight issue with uh, hydraulic leaking on this. I don't think it's a big deal. I don't think it's anything I need to get the dealer involved with or anything like that yet. Um, I'm going to go check some fittings, make sure the hydraulic fittings are tight around it. Um, and, you know, just make sure everything's tight before I, I make any phone calls. I did lose over the 10 hours, I lost uh, one gallon of hydraulic fluid. And uh, I caught that obviously, I, ch I checked fluids before I get on the tractor and I did notice it was low and I did add one gallon to, to the reservoir. But it shouldn't be a big deal, it's under warranty if there is a problem. Um, but I'm hoping it's just a loose fitting that I'm gonna check out. But I'm gonna go over a couple of the implements that I purchased with the tractor and why. All right, so I, I got the third function with the tractor and the main reason for the third function that I wanted is the single lid Titan grapple. Uh, it's a 60 inch grapple and I absolutely love this thing. It picks up all the logs that I wanted to brush piles. So far everything that I've wanted is picked up with no problem. So landscape rake. Um, I have a lot of debris, sticks, uh, branches, uh, that's the main reason I'm going to use it, but also I think I can level out and smooth out some some of the driveway and things like that with it as well. So I'm hoping I'm I'm probably going to put that on the tractor today and see how that works. And with the BL150 loader arms came the standard bucket. I believe that's a uh, I believe that's a five foot bucket. And this little guy I bought here, unfortunately, my favorite dealer did not have this in stock and it was going to be a while before he got it. Um, so I got this little guy here. This is a fence post and tree puller. Uh, it's also made by Titan. Um, I haven't, obviously it's still in the box. I haven't unboxed it yet or tried it, but hopefully within the next uh, week or two, I'll take that out and do a little review of that. And on the back of the tractor is a 60 inch Titan box blade. And that thing has been so far so good. Uh, I've only probably used that maybe an hour, hour and a half. Um, so I don't have a whole lot of time on that. And I got the category one quick hitch and a couple of things I added just to a magnetic cup holder that I got on Amazon. I think I paid 10 bucks for it. And I added a little PVC piece here so I can keep some loppers on the tractor. I also mounted a toolbox on the back. It's got hammer, pliers, a couple screwdrivers. Uh, I've got a 15 foot chain or 12 foot chain in there with a hook on it. Um, I didn't have to drill any holes in the tractor. I just took off the the triangle the fluorescent triangle that came on it and uh drilled a couple holes in the toolbox and just bolted it through uh, i didn't really find another good area to keep a toolbox on this tractor and i think i seen another youtuber do that i can't remember where i seen it but uh, i think another youtuber mentioned that he put a toolbox on the back of his like that so i i just followed his lead so i did some looking and this is where it seems to be leaking at. Let's see if I can get in there. This uh, this piece right here, I'm not so sure about the terminology, but um, I wiped that, I wiped it super clean last night. So I wiped this down pretty good last night after I got off of the tractor and it seems that the leak might be coming from this this piece right here. So this has got a bunch of bunch of oil on it. I'm not really sure what that's called, but it looks like looks like that's where a leak or a majority of the leak may be coming from. So I'm gonna go and tighten these fittings up, just kind of snuggle up to see if that stops the leaking. 
Uh, if not, we'll check some other check some other places. But it was uh, it was getting sprayed up here, or not sprayed, but it had some residue up here uh, after some load of work of hydraulic fluid on the hood. So I think that's might be where where it was coming from. But we're we're gonna check it out, and uh, we'll let you know. so you seen from that little clip right before this that it seems I traced it back to a coupler leaking um, at least I hope that's where it, where it was coming from uh, so I drove into town and went ahead and purchased two couplers and replaced both of the factory ones uh, the ones I replaced them with uh, were were two USA couplers uh, so hopefully maybe they'll be a little bit better um, I still am getting a little bit of a leak from that little junction box. I'm not sure what you call it, but the little the little place where the couplers are hooked onto. I'm still getting a little bit of a leak there. Um, I tighten everything. I don't know if that's normal. Um, maybe you guys can comment below. Like I said, this is my first tractor, so I'm learning all this stuff on the fly. Um, but if that's normal, having a little bit of a leak, I can live with that. But losing you know, a, a gallon, gallon and a half and six or seven hours of work, that will get a little pricey because the uh, the hydraulic fluid is 25 to 30 bucks a gallon in this area. Uh, so let me show you what couplers I got and the little leaking that's still occurring. So this is the area where the leak is coming from. Uh, I'll see if I can go in close there. You can see it's still still leaking a little bit um, like I said it's not even half as bad as it was um, yeah I can't I can't see anything that's really fresh on these but anyway still getting some leaks I'll keep an eye on it if you guys know of any other thing I could check I've, I've checked all these I've tightened all these up tightened those fittings up and these are the two fittings that I replaced this morning. And that was where the big leak was coming from. So um, let me know if you guys have ran into this with any other tractor or the Branson tractor. I appreciate it. Oh, one, one more thing. This is uh, this is that little spray I told you I was getting on, on the hood. Uh, when I lift the loader up, I'm getting spray from somewhere drops or spray from the hydraulic fluid and all the dirt sticking to it and that I was just wiped out of, off this morning and that was only about an hour's worth of work on the tractor and that happened so all right that's it for this little quick update on the Branson uh, hopefully I'll put another eight to ten hours in the seat and give another little quick update hopefully nothing else will pop up no other the problems or troubles and uh yeah we'll go from there thanks for watching